Hello, in this exercise we are going for the first time to combine the features of both the loft and sweep to create uh, one single object and that object will be this duct. If we looked at the duct model number 56, we can see that the first portion of the duct which goes from the 50 millimeters inside hole diameter to a 38 millimeters inside hole will be loft features. And then the rest of it will be a sweeped feature. The easiest way to do this will be maybe we start with a loft with the two circles diameter 54 and 38 plus 4, so that will be a 42. And then from there on we also make the center line on the opposite plane for the sweep. We first lofted this segment and then we sweep the other segment. And then as those two features will be merged into a single body, we can do very simple shelling command where we will shell the outside, where we will shell the outside faces for the thickness of the, for the thickness of two millimeters of the wall. So we will start by making a circle of let's say a 54 diameter on this top plane. So I'm going to start a new model in a SOLIDWORKS. And this time I'm going to use the MMGS system and I'm going to change the material. I will use again SI1020. I'm going to start by sketching on a top plane single sketch which only contains single circle and corded the origin of the diameter 54 millimeters. Next thing that I will do, they also need to know, be sure that it was at the top plane. Next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new plane because if I look back into that model I look back into my model. I have a hundred millimeters below. I will have a circle of a 38 diameter. So of the 38 diameter. So you'll create a plane offsetted for the hundred millimeters below the top plane. So I will go to a features reference geometry plane. And as a first, as a first reference, I'm going to choose the top plane. And then I'm going to click on the icon for a parallel. And I'm going to specify the distance of a 100 millimeters. And I'm going to flip the direction that it is below and click OK. Now, I'm going to click on the top plane, on a new created plane. And I'm going to insert sketch there. I'm going to look straight into that plane. And in accordance to my drawing, I'm going to put that this here is a 38 diameter outside circle. So I'm going to make a circle of a 38. And I will use L of 50 millimeters later on. So 38 diameter, so concentric circle with a 38 diameter. Phi 38 and we will check again our sketch number one that phi is actually 554. That's correct. Now, to make a transition between these two, we are going to use a feature loft, which we already learned how to use. And I'm just going to choose my two profiles. As you can see, a simple loft has been created. And that take care of my transition piece. Now, I'm going to choose a front plane and I'm going to start to sketch the center line of my circular sweep feature. I'm going to make a 
circle of a 23 radius, so 56 diameter. Then I'm going to put up 50 millimeters and then another circle and then down until it is 180 from the top. Okay, so let's do it. So 23. So I'm going to start making the center line. Actually, I'm going to start first making, a, and let's see on the geometries, I'm going to make a circle actually, which will be a 56 in diameter. I can make a circle, which will be at the front plane. And the origin of that circle will be accidental with the midpoint, and uh, 56 is going to be a diameter. And those two. Okay, so 56 diameter and then quadrant point and my origin here and the quadrant should be vertical. So I can do that by creating a vertical center line, and then associating those two points to be a coincident and also the point of and those two points to be horizontal relationship. Let's check again the dimensions. 23 times 2 should be what? 46. That's correct. So it should be a 46. Now this will be a, only a half circle. So I can make a center line, what means it will not be used for creating a loft. And I'm going to trim. Now, I'm going for the 50 millimeters vertical. And then I will make another circle like this. Go for a 50 millimeters vertical line. Let's just check again. And that will be a 50 millimeters vertical. And then I'm going to make another circle and I can use the perimeter circle, which should be tangential to my vertical line. And I'm going to make that this circle and this circle are equal in size. And I'm going to create another center line for Dissecting this into the angle, into the arc. So, and I will trim the bottom entity. And now the last segment I need to make, and that's 180 from this line, vertical line down, which will be 180 millimeters from the top. 180 from the top. So for that, we will just create a vertical line. And now I'm going to specify that the distance between these two points in a vertical direction are going to be 180 millimeters. And that have completely created my sweep profile. Now, in the next step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have features and I will do the sweep boss space. I'm going to choose the sweep for a circular profile. I'm going to put that the diameter will be my outside diameter of 38 millimeters. So I'm going to put 38. And I'm going to end. There is only one path that I can choose. And here is my outside contour. Now, only thing that is left to be done is to shell it out. And we need to remove the two faces. And if we look at the picture, the thickness of the walls are two millimeters. So we are going to shell it with a wall thickness of a two millimeters. So I'm going to click on a shell. I'm going to specify the wall thickness of the two millimeters. 
And for the faces to remove, I'm going to choose both top and the bottom face. And click OK. And the thickness is a 2. And here is my item complete. So let's check on the cross-sectional view. You can see that it looks exactly like what it should be on a drawing. And if it is ASI 1020, the mass properties will be 795 grams for this piece of, of duct. This concludes this demonstration.